The Tell Monument or the Tell Denk Mall is a memorial to William Tell. In the marketplace of Aldorf in the canton or state of Uri in Switzerland. Wilhelm Tell is credited with having played a central role for the foundation of the country. But his historical existence is disputed. According to popular legend, he was a peasant from Burgland in the 13th and early 14th centuries who defied Austrian authority in the form of Albrecht Kessler. Tell was forced to shoot an apple from his son's head, was arrested for threatening Gessler's life. But Tell ended up saving Gessler en route to prison and escape. Ultimately, Tell killed the governor in an ambush. This event supposedly helped spur the people to rise up against Austrian rule. Now we know the brief legend of Tell, let us talk some of the older statues dedicated to him. Due to the legend, monuments and landmarks were planned and created for Tell. A Tell chapel was built in 1636 at the place where Tell jumped off of the robbing boat from Gessler. A prominent one was erected on the Linden Square in Zurich in 1780 but was destroyed a few years later in 1800. In 1856, a statue was erected at the shores of Lake Lugano in the Italian-speaking part of Switzerland. In 1860, the first Tell Memorial was erected in Altdorf, but this was created of cheap creep and not of durable material. The statue had to be repaired and become a target for caricaturists who questioned the endurance of the national hero. Therefore, the local government demanded a better solution and definite memorial. Six years later, the town asked the sculptor Heinrich Max Imhoff for suggestions, but Imhoff's models were deemed as too Greek and not masculine enough. The town wasn't also satisfied with the several Tell models exhibited at the Swiss Expo of 1883. Another unsuccessful attempt was made by a French merchant whose plans were eventually realized in 1901 in Lausanne. In 1887, the Federal Council authorized the financial support of eventual monuments of national character. In 1890, the Federal Art Commission gave its approval to a Tell Memorial in Aldorf. A competition was organized in March 1891. The ideas of the Commission of Uri were detailed, calling for a Swiss representative monument for all kinds of folks. It should be a static monument and not represent Tell in action. By April 1892, 30 competitors submitted their models anonymously, out of which the owner commission elected four. Eventually, Richard Kisling's model was chosen. So in June 1892, the Federal Council decided to support the work with 125,000 Swiss francs. It would pay for the renovation of the tower of which the statue was to be located and the monument itself including a pedestal and three bronze reliefs. A life insurance for Kisling in case he will die before the erection of the sculpture was also agreed on, for which Kisling had to pay half of the 30000 Three years later, it was inaugurated on August 27 and 28 of 1895, with the important Swiss societies and notables sent a delegation. All delegates stayed overnight in Aldorf, and on the 28th, the monument was unveiled following the song of the Rudli and the Swiss national anthem was sung. Behind the statue is a bronze plate with the following inscription, which translates to this. 
it will be talked about in the sense of stories will be told about. The marksman tell as long as the mountains stand on their base. Up to this day, Wilhelm Tell is still one of the most popular Swiss characters in the world through the stories, statues, and music dedicated to him. So that's it for the short history of the memorial dedicated to Tell in Aldorf. If you want to know more about William Tell, his life, and some of the sites dedicated to him, check out the description below. Until next time, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Bye! So guys, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel, and feel free to comment. Hit the bit, hit the bit, hit the bit, hit the bit.